In this project, you'll be creating this centimeter ruler. And a few reminders, to get to your dashboard or your main page, once you're logged in, you can click on the Tinkercad logo in the upper left-hand corner, and it'll show you all of your recent projects. So these are things that I most recently worked on in this username. And to get to the ruler project, you're going to follow my tutorial on your iPad while you go to the activity. So you click on learn and it's in lessons and ruler. Okay, I'm going to restart the project. But for you, you don't have to do that because you haven't started it yet. And you click on ruler. And first we're told that we need to change this 1.0 millimeter grid to 0 0.25. And every day you open this project up again, it's gonna revert back to one millimeter. So you'll have to remember to change it to 0 0.25. Next, it says drag a box shape from the work plane to that orange area. Remember that, that's our help area. And I'm gonna make that go up so it's not in my way. And I can zoom in with my mouse wheel. And remember that these are where you can enter values for length and width. Black would just be one dimension. So in this case, you can see that this black box just gave me that 20 millimeter width. And this then gives me that front or the length and this one also width, and this one also length. This one would, is for height, and it says I need to make it two millimeters in height. And so I click on that white square, and I can type right in here. I don't have to drag it and try to get exactly to two. So I type two and hit enter. And then since I wanna change both my length and my width, or potentially I would, but here I see that it's actually 20 and I'm supposed to make it 20 by 60. So this one I leave alone, but this one I make 60. And then just drag it so it fits nicely into that area. Sometimes it's helpful to click on the top view on that cube and you can see just how close you are. I think I'm pretty well on it. And then this house was my home view. Okay, next. Drag a cylinder shape to the work plane. So again, I'm dragging it into that little hint or help area. And I see it's the wrong size. It says scale it smaller to a diameter of two millimeters. So if I click on this white box, then I make two there and two there. Okay, and then a height of 60. So this top one is my height, 60. And now I like to, before I move it, I like to click away from it. Otherwise, a lot of times it will resize it. If I click away and then grab and move, then I tend to be able to avoid that accidental resizing. Okay, again, I'm gonna look from the top view and see if I'm in there. I can hold my mouse button down and just drag this so I'm looking right down on it. And that looks pretty good. Okay, next. Rotate the cylinder and move it down to the work plane. So if I zoom in, you can see there is a place here. I'm holding my right mouse button right now, and I'm turning this so I can show you where I'm supposed to be putting this right there. And then I'm going to be copying and pasting one right there, but I'm gonna get it in place first, okay? So I have to rotate it. Now I'll click on it and look for my rotating symbol, and that would be this one. And again, instead of just dragging it, I'm gonna look for where I can enter the number. There's zero degrees. I want it perpendicular, which is 90 degrees. So I type in 90 and hit enter and click away from it. And I wanna get it this way. And now this is gonna bring it down, that arrow. And let's see how we're doing here. Oh, pretty close, right? So I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so I can see where I am. I hold my mouse, I'm sorry, my mouse wheel 
button down. And now I can go ahead and drag it over a little bit. And looks like I'm pretty good that way, almost. And let's see how I'm doing from the top view. I'll go back to home. Okay, from the top view, zoom in and take it and drag it into place. And that's looking pretty good. Okay, I zoom in and I drag over. Whoop, hold the mouse wheel, drag. It looks like I'm on the end there and it looks pretty good. Here, I think I like it just like that, okay? And now I'm gonna copy and paste it like it says in number two here. So I click on it and click on copy and then paste. And now I'm gonna click away so I don't resize it and just move it into place. And I think, oh, hold the mouse wheel and drag. I think I want it to be lined up with this one. So I'm gonna use my align tool. I'm gonna to click on this one, hold my mouse, my shift button down, and then go to my align. Oh, I think I had the red there. So now I can hide, let's hide the red one. So I click on that light bulb and it's gone. Now I won't accidentally choose that one instead. And shift, and here's my line tool. And if I just hover over this, what will that do? Here, I'm gonna go like this so I can see what's happening. And looks like, I'm not sure. I think this is the one though, cause I see that when I hover over that, I see the red line going here. So that's the one I want. And there we go. Now they're perfectly aligned and I wanna be able to see my other one again. So right here, show all and it's back. Okay, next, let's get this back in the home view. Okay, now I wanna drag a roof shape onto the work plane. So here's my roof shape. Scale it smaller to a height of two. So this top white box is the height. Click it, type in two, and then it's going to be a size of one millimeter by 20 millimeters. And obviously 20 is the length and that already is, but I need this one to be a one. And click away so I can put it into place and grab it and move it. Look from my top view. Looks like I need to come down just a little from the top view. And let's go to the front view. And that looks pretty good. Okay, good. And next. Now it says to copy and paste the roof shape. So let's go to the home view and zoom back in. I'm supposed to take this, make a copy, and paste the copy. I'll click away so I can just grab it and scale it to a size of one millimeter by six millimeters. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that one white X or white square rather. And I see it is one by 20. I'm supposed to do one by six. The height is the same. It's just a lot shorter. And then it says rotate and move it to the area highlighted in orange. So now I'm gonna rotate it. And I find that holding the mouse wheel to just kind of drag this into place is really helpful for me. So here is my rotate. And if I wanna rotate it all the way around, halfway around the circle, I'm rotating 180 degrees like that. And again, I said this before, but actually typing in the number is a lot easier to be exact or with the correct rotation or dimensions than it is to try to just, just swing around that wheel and get to the right number. So I highly recommend you type in your numbers. So I'm dragging it into place. I'm gonna go to the top view and see if I actually have it in place. It looks like I have a little work getting that in place. So I'm gonna grab it and put it there. And that looks better, I think. Yeah, if I get right on top of it, it looks good. Then I go to my home view, 
and my front view, see if I actually have it down far enough. So I'm dragging it to go like this. It looks like I actually need to put it down a little bit. So click on it and I need this cone shape up here and bring it down and in. See how those views are so very important to get it exactly placed. And I'll click on my home button and there we go. That looks good. Okay, and next. Copy and paste the shape, scale it smaller again, and this time I'm going to copy and paste it seven times. So let's see. Now remember that duplicate tool? That's going to help here. So I have one. I'm going to copy it and paste it and take that one. Make sure you get the right one. And... Oh, I guess I should resize first, huh? So this one is three by one. So I changed my six to a three. And now I'm gonna get on top of it with my view cube. Whoop, what's going on? Here, let's go home view. And then see if I can go on top. There we go. Okay, and let's get that one in place, the one I resized. So I'm right on top of it now and moving it into place. And since I copied from one that was in the correct position, I think it's gonna be in the correct position already, but let's just go to the front view. And sure enough, it is, okay? So now I'm going to use my duplicate tool. So I click on what I wanna duplicate, and here's duplicate. And now I can take it and look at that number. See, right now it says negative, 1.0, I know that that's correct because I want to move this exactly one millimeter. And now if I hit duplicate, there it is, one more millimeter and another one. And I'm actually going to put one on top of that long one, but then I'll get rid of it afterwards because I just want to keep using the advantage of the duplicate tool. So duplicate, 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 duplicate. And then I have it already in place, but there's one too many, right? That one I duplicated right here, I don't really want. So you have to make sure you're not selecting this one that belongs there. So I'm gonna hide that one and then select this one and I can hit delete on the keyboard or this trash can and now bring the other one back by showing everything. And there we go, there it all is. Okay, now it says copy and paste the roof shapes as needed to fill the remaining areas in orange. What they did not tell you that I think would be very helpful is that it would be nice if you grouped these. So I'm going to put a rectangle around each of these. Now I just need to be touching those things that I am duplicating. Oh, you know what? Before I do that, how about we align them? I guess I still have to select them. And if you have trouble getting some other items in here by mistake, just use your shift key and select one at a time. But I want to make sure that this is actually aligned. Everything is aligned. So I use my align tool right here. And let's see which one will do the aligning. Nope, I don't want that one. Don't want that one. Don't want that one. I think it's hiding over here. Oh, look, it's a gray. That tells me that they're already aligned. So it doesn't give me that option. That's good. Now all I have to do is group them. Okay, now this is all one solid uh, model. So I can undo my movement so it's back in place. And now I can easily copy that. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that using my duplicate key. And I'm gonna do it one, two, three, four times, right? The first one is the really important one. So duplicate. And now this should be moving over. Let's take a look. Look at your numbers. Now I want that number that's on the left. I can't let go of this, so I'll point it out in the video. But the one on the left says 0, 0.00. That's good. That means I'm in, I'm in line with the other one. And then it's 10.25, but I want exactly 10. Right there is where I want it because it should represent a movement of 10 millimeters or one centimeter. So there I go. Drop it. And now I'm going to duplicate again and again. And did I have one more, I think? And duplicate again. There we go. And now I still need to make a copy. 
whoops, not that one. So I'll hit delete. Or how about this trash can? Okay, I want this one copied. Nope, I did it again. I guess I have to hit copy first. Copy and then paste. And it needs to go to the left. So I'm going to move that. Oh, wrong one. Undo. How can I how can I avoid that error? I can hide that one. I'm going to hide. Oh, I know I have the right one now. So I'll just stay with it. And I'm going to move that over here. And this time it's not 10 because it's I didn't use duplicate. I used copy and paste. So I want to make sure that one number is zero. That means I'm in line with it. And the other number is right here. It's 14.5. That's because when it when I pasted it, it wasn't like the duplicate where it landed right on top. It was moved over. So now I'm going to look at the front and make sure that it's actually in there the, where it should be. And I believe it is. Okay. Let's see everything that we hid just a moment ago. And there everything is. Okay, now it's time to duplicate this one. Let's zoom in a little bit. And I'm going to hit duplicate. And just like before, I'm going to make sure one number is 0 and the other one is 10. And then duplicate. Oh, it didn't go. Why? Let's see. And one number is 0 and the other number is 10. I'm looking for that other number. I can't see it. There it is. It's 10 and oh, now we have 25. 0 and well, it must be 10. It doesn't show up unless I go to the 25. There we go. Okay, and duplicate one more. There it went. I don't know why it didn't work that one time. And that's it. Okay, so now let's go to our home view and click away. And I don't want to lose this arrangement, so I'm going to group everything. I put a big square around it and group, and now this is all going to stay together. And next. Now everything is in the proper scale. Select all roof shapes and move them to the area marked orange. In orange, that is. So now I'm going to move these in place. And since they all move together, I don't have to worry too much, but you might see that we actually are going to have to move these up into place. So go like this and up and zoom way in so I can see it. It's kind of hard to tell, isn't it? So I'm going to go up and then, oh, now I see the outline. See when I move it, I can see the outline and see that I'm actually in where I should be. And now I'm going to hit the home button. And I, can I see everything on here? I'm going to use my right mouse button and just kind of navigate around and see if it's looking okay. It does look okay. And actually, since I know I placed them correctly in the area that I was told to place them, I know that it should be correct. So let's go to the next thing. It says, drag the number shapes 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 to the work plane. So now what I have to do is go to basic shapes and change it to design starters. And here are my letters and numbers. So I click on that. And here's the one. So I'll put that there. I'm just going to grab all my numbers and then make sure I have them in place correctly. And 3 and 4 and five and I'll go to the top zoom in and I want to be right on top of the one to make sure that's in place and the two needs to come down just a little Oh, you know what happened? This is day two. I actually stopped after I placed these and came back and logged in 
And what I need to do is change my snap grid back to 0.25. For some reason, it doesn't remember that. That was the first step in this project. So that's why I couldn't get it exact. Now I can get it right where I want it. And we go right on top of the three. And right on top of the four. The four looks good. And five. Okay, and then I want to look at the front and make sure that they are sitting where they should, and they are. So now let's see what we do next. Select all the number shapes and scale them smaller. Press and hold the shift button while scaling the shapes. So I know what I can do is just put a box touching all five, so it selects all five, and I see there is a scale right here. So I'm going to make it fit inside there. Scale it down. And let's look on top of it. Oop, I think I resized there. Okay, it looks like the scaling's pretty good, I think. And maybe just a little bit taller. Oh, my mouse is going a little bit crazy. Okay, and then I want to see if my height is good. So I go to the front view and zoom in, and it appears as though I need to bring it down. Once again, I'm holding my mouse wheel while I drag that to place. And it, whoops, that was the wrong one, wasn't it? The white box is the height. So I bring it down. And now let's take another look. And looks kind of good, but just a little bit off on placement. I'm going to go on top of that one so I can really see where it goes. There I go. And the two, well, I better center it. And the two. And center the three. Hmm, I don't know why that changed when, um, when I changed the height. Looks like this one needs to be a hair taller. I wonder if they all do. Yeah, I think they all do. So I'm going to wait and select them all. Okay, and I'm going to change the height on all of them at the same time. So I'll put a box over all of them and just grab the black box that will only change one dimension and that's that height of the letter. Okay, now I think we look pretty good. And next, move the numbers to the marked location. So there's the marked location. So I'm going to go ahead and again move them there. And you know what? I think I'm going to undo that and I think it hides when I move it like that. So I'm going to make these a little taller first and go up so I know I can see it after I move it. Okay, so now I'll put it there and then I'll make sure I have it correctly placed in a moment. All right, and now on top of it, and make sure I'm right on top of that one. Yeah, I can see I need to put it a little more in place there. And the two. Let's 
So just perfecting the placement. And then do you know what I'm going to do next? I'm going to look at it from the front view. Okay, and now I'll go to the front. And I'll rotate this a bit so I can see the numbers. Zoom in and let's take a look. It looks like I need to bring them down just a little bit. I think they should be even with that orange cylinder in the front. So I'm going to select each one. This time I cannot put a box around all of them. I need to actually use my shift key to select each one. So I'm going to click on the one first. And now I'm holding my shift, click on the two, and the three, and the four, and the five. Be careful to, be, to select just the numbers and not this red platform or the base of the ruler. If you have a problem with that, just hide it, okay? So now I'm going to bring them all down. I'm not going to, well, I could group them. Why not? I'll group them, okay? And... Now I'm going to bring them down into place, and if I go, I'm going to click on front view, I know that they should be even with that orange bar. So I think that's it. Did I get them? Let's zoom way in. Oh, I think I went a little too far, didn't I? And up. There we go. So front view again. And they're still even. Okay. So now I have that in place. Let's hit next. Oh, and it is done. Hit done. So we're done with the project instructions, but a five centimeter ruler is very small and we're going to print these. So I'm actually going to double the size so we have a, a 10 centimeter ruler. So I'm going to highlight everything make sure everything is grouped as one and I'm going to duplicate that and make it twice as long so I click duplicate and I want duplicate because it duplicates the copy right on top and I can use the numbers when I'm moving I'm just holding my mouse wheel and now I'm going to move it and this time I'm going to move it 50 so that I'm actually on top of it so if you're having trouble getting it exactly in place, I can let go. And right here, I know that number has to be zero. And I'm not going to hit enter because then I'll not have the option of putting my 50 in this one. And this one is 50 and hit enter. And I know I have it exactly where I want it then. Okay. And I now want this, these numbers to be different. Everything is grouped. I need to ungroup that copy of the ruler so I can just get to the numbers and I'm going to put my six seven eight nine ten on top of these numbers first and then I'll hide my new numbers and delete the old ones that way I know just exactly where to place it so I'm going to take my six and put it there and my seven and my eight nine and I, of course, there's no 10. I need to use the one and the zero. So my one and my zero. Okay. And I want to make them the same size. Let's just take a peek. I'll have to ungroup them to take a peek. I want to see what the size of my five is. Oh, those are group, grouped separately. So ungroup those as well. And my five has a size of, looks like 4.35. Whoop, I'm gonna have to zoom in. 3.5 by 4.35. Okay, so I'm gonna do that to this. I'm gonna resize it. And this was 3.5 by I think it was 3.45, whoops, I lost it. Or 4.35, I said that wrong. 
okay and then I need to know what the height was and I'm just going to double check on my length and width yep 4.35 and 3.5 and my height is 1 so my height here needs to also be 1 whoops didn't take there we go okay I'm going to do that to each one of these so I'll use this corner rectangle and that number is 4.35 and this number was 3.5 and my height is 1. Hmm, my height doesn't seem to want to take the first time we'll do that again and make sure I didn't change these oh they did change look at that I better check the other ones Maybe we should do the height first since it's changing it. Oh, that one did change it. Okay. And so I'm going to change the height first on this one and make it 1. And then 4.35 and 3.5. And again, height 1. length and width 4.35 and 3.5 and two more numbers to go height 1 4.35 3.5 height 1 4.35 and 3.5 and I need to put these in place but I'm going to group this one and zero first because that needs to stay together and I think I'm actually going to make that one a little narrower okay and let's align it click oh I like the box let's put a box around it and a line tool and we want it aligned to the front or the bottom of the numbers and group them and now we have a number 10 that will move together okay now let's move them right on top of the numbers so I'm going to go ahead and place this oh looks like I want to lift them all up a little bit first otherwise I'm not going to be able to see them so I'm highlighting them all and tilting and I'm going to move them up a little bit and then I'll move them down into place after I have them over the number that they are replacing okay here my top view so my six needs to go right on top of the one my seven right on top of the two my eight on the three By nine, whoops, on the four, and my ten on the five. All right, let's see how I did here. Looks like this one is a little bit high, but you know what? I'm going to align them all with these other numbers. I'm more concerned about where they're landing it looks like I need to bring them up a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and click on my numbers that I need to raise and I'm looking at the color the different color whoops I need my mouse wheel and brown one and the 10 and I'm going to lift them just a little bit that looks good to me. Okay, let's hit the home button and take a look. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and, you know, while I had it selected, I should have hidden those numbers I wanted to hide. But I want to get rid of the six. Let's see if I can select the six and hit my delete or the garbage. 
and I did. This one looks like the two is going to be easier to select. Let's see if I can get the seven. Hit delete. Yep, I got it. And the eight. And delete. And the nine. Now if you struggle getting the right number. Oh, the nine I want to. Oh, I'm doing the wrong thing. Did you see that? Those are the numbers I want to keep. So I'll I'll hide the ones I want to keep. How about that? Because they seem easier to select. And the nine. And the ten. And let's hide them. Okay. And now I want to delete the one, two, three. Oh, it's all together. Good. And now I want to show all. And there are my other numbers. Okay. Now the last thing is to make sure it's aligned with these. So I'm going to select the five, hold my shift, select the six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and choose a line. And I need it aligned to the front. So that's this, this black dot right here. And there we go. Okay, let's look from the top. And everything looks pretty good. And now we double the size of our ruler. Okay, good to go. One last step. We want to 3D print our ruler. So now I'm going to export and export everything in the design. And I'd like you to choose the STL file. And now it's going to your hard drive of your computer in the downloads folder. So if I click on the file folder down here and look for downloads, I can see here is my ruler. So that's where I'll get it to submit into Canvas. So just like you submitted your project in Tinkercad, or for, not Tinkercad, I'm sorry, from uh, scratch, you're going to submit your file, your ruler into Canvas. Now that I've downloaded my STL file, I need to go to the assignment where I'm supposed to upload it. So 3D Modeling with Tinkercad. This is on the home page. And upload ruler centimeter STL file. Or if you have trouble finding it there, you can always go to assignments. And right here is the assignment. OK, start assignment. And I need to upload a file, the file that I downloaded, right? And then choose file. And it's in my downloads folder. So if this isn't already selected, you need to select it. And then it should be the most recent thing you downloaded. And I see here it says ruler CM STL. And submit. And you are done.